Hello again, it's me. I'm back and I'm here to do another haul. So very recently, I was invited to the Alzheimer's Society Forget Me Gala, Forget Me Not Gala, on the 17th of October, which I'm going to on Thursday. Now in order to do that, I had to have a dress. I don't have any beautiful, ball gowny gala dresses so I decided I would order a few online and try them on and you could see me try them on so this is dress number one and as if by magic this is the first dress so this first dress is £40 it's from ASOS design and it's a maxi pleated dress. So you can see that the bottom details, I don't know if you can see that actually, because I'm stretching it, is pleats, which match the arm pleats. They're not very pleated. I don't know whether they're supposed to be more pleated, but I would class this as color royal blue, which I actually really like. Um, this is in a size 20, all the dresses are in a size 20. I think for 40 pounds, this dress is beautiful. I'm not necessarily sure it's for me. And also there is one big issue, like in most dresses, and I think this is a wrap dress. My boobs pop out. I don't know whether it's because my boobs are too big, my boobs are too small, or wrap just, dresses just don't like my boobs. But I could sew it up if I really wanted to wear it. But I just think, there were better dresses in the pile. But yeah, 40 quid from ASOS, and I really, really love it, and it's so comfortable. And underneath it is like a slip dress. Sorry if that's a bit too much information, Shrey. But um, it just goes over your, your bottom, your bottom area, your bottom. This is the third dress. Again, it's from ASOS Curves Design, ASOS Design Curves. It's in the colour of ox blood, which sounds a bit bloody or oxy. Sounds a bit not right. I'm, I'd probably say it's between a red and a maroon. It's actually a really nice colour. I love this dress. It's a size 20 and it was slightly more expensive than the last one, it was 60 pounds. But you really can feel why it's slightly more expensive. It, again, it's got pleated bottom and pleated around the top as well, which I really like. Um, it's got slits in the leg bit, but that kind of adds to the flowy feel. My negatives are it's very long. I'm five foot four and it's long. So I permanently have to be picking it up and walking along. Second detail I don't really like is booby area, as usual. So I, would, I could pin it in, but then it just looks a bit weird. And then third detail is this design, which is supposed, is supposed to be a lacy design. To me, it just kind of looks like they haven't finished making it or it's fraying at the side. So I love this dress. It's got that fraying there as well. And I do like it, but no. This is the third dress and probably my least favourite. The reason is, is the material, the minute I got it out of the bag, I thought this material is not great. It clings to every part of my body. So I'd be so conscious and don't look too closely because it literally shows every lump and bump. It was 40 pounds and this one is from Next. It's a navy blue and it is really pretty. I think it's called a navy blue knot dress. So it's got a little knot here, the details. Again, booby area, not great. Um, it is really nice. It is a little bit long, but I feel like I've got to permanently breathe in with this dress all the time. And I really can't be bothered to do that on a five hour night dinner thing. So not my favourite. It's also in a size 20 as usual. 
This is the fourth dress and this was from Chi Chi London, which I've never ordered for, from, but my friend Zoe recommended it. Her daughter got her prom dress from it. So I thought I'd have a look. I also got student discount on this. So I don't know how much the original dress was. I will try and put it on screen. I think I paid 51.99, which I think includes discount. It's a size 20 again. This is probably my favorite dress of the bunch. However, I'm not wearing it for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's just a tad too tight. So it zips up at the side, as you can see, and around here, again, boob area, it's just quite tight. However, if I got a 22, it would be massive on me and it would be ridiculous. I absolutely love the detail. I never wear high neck because having big boobs, I feel like my, I look like I'm wearing a paper bag sometimes with high necks, but this is stunning. It's underneath, you can see it's got a beautiful lining and then over the top it's like lace chiffon material. I don't even know how to describe it. It is also quite long, but not hideously long. It just would float along the floor. I could walk in it, although I couldn't walk backwards. But how many times do you walk backwards? I do love it. It is my favourite, but it is, unfortunately probably going back to the shop this is the dress i love this dress and i said that the last one was actually my favorite but after putting this one on which was the first dress to arrive so i haven't worn it since it came i love this dress and i've definitely gone with the right decision it's from next it's 70 pounds so unfortunately one of the most expensive trust me but you genuinely feel like a princess so it's very similar to the Chi Chi London one where you've got the lining underneath and then over the top you've got kind of a nice chiffon-y material. I don't know what it's called. Um, it, it's got like a belt around here, which as I've said in a previous video, suits my figure because I have big boobs. Let's not beat around the bush. And a smaller, let's not pretend I have a small waist. <laughs> A smaller waist so anything that can cinch me in at the waist but then go out and hide you know this area is amazing it also is the only dress that fits with my bosoms they don't pour out bosoms who uses the word bosoms fits with my boobs they stay in I don't need to sew anything it's just if I could fall in love with a dress, this would be the dress I'm in love with. It's also lengthwise, the most perfect lengthwise one. So it doesn't touch the floor. You can just about see shoes. I'm not gonna be wearing these shoes. I'm actually gonna be wearing flats. Even though these have only got slight wedge on them. I, I, just, I just can't do wedges. I just can't do heels. I just can't do them. So I will be wearing flats, which haven't arrived, but I will show you when they arrive. But this, is the dress. I hope you enjoyed the gala dinner dress haul and I hope you agreed with my decision of dresses. I think it's about going with the most comfortable and I'm definitely comfortable in this dress. Um, I would love to buy all five of them however I don't have any way to wear them to and secondly I don't have enough money otherwise I would be buying a hell of a lot more clothes. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.